This is Obuklu, one of many refugee camps in Uganda, East Africa. It provides temporary living space for those who have fled political unrest, threat of abduction and genocide, and who have lost nearly everything, including loved ones. They gather here today to listen to music in hopes of finding comfort from their desperate situation. Music brings joy in the heart. Nara e music ara boli angin e yauni a a yala matomotau. And today, Lolo, we have these very amazing musicians that are going to make us feel good. E lo si kwane ti mulo e se se no le jai ngarne la luman ali mona na kiro. Musicians for World Harmony is a non-profit organization that sponsors musicians, both local and international, to visit and perform in a variety of places where the uplifting of spirits can be as essential as food and shelter. It seeks to share the tremendous healing power of music. During January of 2005, Musicians for World Harmony visited several orphanages and camps in Uganda and Kenya. This is SOS, a children's village that provides both home and school for orphaned, abandoned and needy children. Let me first of all take this opportunity to welcome Mr. Ndondo and his colleagues from the U.S. We are pleased to receive you back. My uh, interest in coming here is to see how I can help bring music to you. Maybe bring some teachers coming in to teach from America volunteers or to bring you musical instruments. What do there are so many musicians in America who want to volunteer, who want to raise money to see where music can help the children, music, to see where music can help the refugees, to see where music can help the orphans. There are so many people that can use music, you know. Numbani is a hospice for HIV-positive orphans. It provides not only medical care, but also a nurturing home environment. In Kenya alone, we have 1.2 million HIV-positive orphans. Here at Numbani, we have kids, we have 94 children who are living here at Numbani. And like all of them, their, their, their parents are, are, are dead or they've been abandoned. What I basically do here at Nyumbani is arrange for recreational music projects with the children. A lot of these children really need rec recreational uh, kind of uh, activities and music is the best recreational activity I know and have experienced the power of music. Akan provides recovery and social reintegration support for children who had formerly been abducted by the rebel army and conscripted into service as soldiers, servants, and sex slaves. There must be long-term interventions, plans, to address the effects of war, yes. which some people's countries are laboring to do. But the effects of war are majorly way upon children and women. What do we exactly need to do? to help them begin a healing process and try to make them forget the past. These girls you see are part of the children who were rescued from captivity. These ladies you see, they are 16. They are staying with relatives within town here because facilities for such a training are available here. They are not in the community. Florence. Florence. Uh -huh. called Grace. 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 And you are? Shangalia serves as home and school and provides theater and performing arts as recreational therapy for orphaned, neglected, HIV positive, and drug addicted children. About 90% of them are from the streets. Others are AIDS orphans. AIDS, AIDS orphans, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're also from the streets. Yeah, they, okay, you know, most of them are from the streets. Yeah. They were abandoned by their Yeah, they actually abandoned children. Uh, currently, we have more than 200 children. About 150 are based here, and about 50 are out in the boarding schools. So basically, we have taekwondo, 
uh, acrobatics, uh, traditional dances. Musicians for World Harmony is working to support existing organizations in their efforts to include music as part of their programming. See the little one sleeping there. Yeah. So, so these beds are donated. Um, uh, yes, they were donated. Yes. We, we take care of each other. Yeah. We encourage them to be the brothers and sisters. Yes. Yeah. This is purely to help them build the self esteem, to help them realize that uh, they are normal children. The children were denied access to public schools and they were facing discrimination both from their friends and from the society at large. When my first day at school, mm -hmm. the children started to tell me that shouting to the eight plus eight, so I don't know what they are saying, so just keep quiet and walk in my class. So they were like saying you have HIV and they were making fun of it? Yes. Yeah. And it was difficult? Yes. We had to sue the government to get the children access to public schools. This is the Numbani name. Numbani Watoto Wamungu. Why is it covered up? It's covered up because the stigma and discrimination the children are facing. Mm -hmm. Once they were taken to school with the, the bus with the name, mm -hmm. so everyone knew they were from Jumani and they're HIV positive. So they were facing a lot of stigma and discrimination, even from the teachers themselves. Music can be the essential prescription for those who have lost their parents, who are victims of an epidemic, and who occasionally witness their peers and friends dying around them. They really need a lot of encouragement from the society. So music has been able to break the barriers and make people understand, oh, these kids, they're normal. They, they're just normal. They, they just need love and understanding. Can you please tell us how music would help in the, in the healing process for these children? When you develop music, you are, going, you are trying to address three key issues. One, comedy. You're trying to bring an element of enjoyment to make somebody relax and it becomes happy. Even if you're in a bad mood, you can easily forget you find yourself relaxed and enjoying. Uh, part of the music is to bring in the tragedy. It gives a bit of sorrow, but it generates understanding. And then the third point, it gives hope. It forgets the past and can see the future as if there's still something good for you. All these things are meant to heal the traumatized mind. The song that they are going to sing for us is concerning um, about when they were abducted, what difficult situations they went through when they were in captivity. Okay. According to the song, it says most of the children are crying, their parents are crying, that like many children have gone, have been taken, have been affected. You know, a mind that is not settled cannot even think of anything. It is defeated. The only wish is, maybe I could die. 
normally that's what such brains want. But if it's refreshed and it's allowed to settle, it begins generating ideas that can be done, can turn it into a lively kind of living. For us to be able to get musical instruments, um, that's that's where right now we we've been he we've been focusing and we, we are really trying to get a lot of support in that area. I've seen that through music we can bring about a change in the social ways and the political ways and there's so many issues that we can articulate through music. It's so easy for the kids to just get hold of a note and be happy. <laughs> During the 2005 trip, Musicians for World Harmony donated and distributed four dulcimers, two guitars, and over 50 kalimbas and percussion instruments to orphanages in Uganda and Kenya, including Nyumbani, Shangalia, Akan, as well as SOS, the Braintree Primary School, and Ueso. Among the most moving of these experiences for the organization was to witness Ruth, a disabled girl from Oweso who could neither walk nor talk, but who responded instantly to playing her own instrument. When I handed her Kalimba, she just woke up. I mean, she just became alive. She started singing in a very beautiful voice. Um, I didn't understand what she was singing, but it was so powerful that I, uh, it just stayed in my mind. And the three young women in Soroti, who had previously been witness to some of the most violent acts in human history, could not help but to smile warmly at the sight of their new kalimbas. But when you play them, they make you feel <laughs> if local musicians could be promoted and given shows, they could raise funds. At the camp in Gulu, local musicians gave many refugees the inspiration to dance, despite their living an uncertain and desperate existence. People in the camp have gone through a lot of suffering, a lot of dying. Children have died, parents have died. There's not enough food. And when we arrived, we went with local musicians there. And it was extremely exciting just to see them reacting to their local music. <laughs> And back at Obuklu, the laughing, cheering, and dancing was infectious. The goal of Musicians for World Harmony is to open up the world of music to the displaced, the distressed, the desperate, and sow the seeds of hope and vitality where it is needed most in the world. By sponsoring performances of both local and visiting musicians, and by donating musical instruments, we can heal the saddened heart through music and provide the inspiration for people to live another day. Even though these kids, they're HIV positive and they have this condition, they have ambitions and they have aspirations. Given a chance, they can achieve as much as any other person. Let's join hands and provide a better place for children. It's my appeal. Thank you. I would like to thank you for being able to speak 
the international language called music, because this is the only thing which I think can cut across all countries. The campaign of the crusade we have begun is a big one, but I know once there is a will, there is always a way. I know these kids have seen so much. These kids have gone through so much pain, you know. But as I see in this place, they're from singing, they're all jumping mm -hmm. around and singing. Okay. Okay. You, you know, I'm feeling a very positive feeling here, being here. Thank you. <laughs> The East Africa trip of 2005 represents merely a pilot program for Musicians for World Harmony. With growing support, the organization will expand its reach to countless other troubled regions of the world. It will utilize its resources to provide instruments and entertainment to those in need and facilitate the healing process for those who have faced insurmountable tragedy but who can live again with hope and with joy. Goodbye, everyone.